Hello, this is Dragon Tank 1400, and this is going to be the All Grown Up series review. Yeah, I'm doing the series review right now. I finished up with the eight main characters of uh, All Grown Up. I did every episode. Now it's time for the series. Now this won't necessarily be the last episode, episode, last video of All Grown Up. I still want to do some of the other characters here and there. However, I kind of want to move forward and start start recording like the next series which I will be talking about like probably in the next video to be honest anyway uh, so uh, let's focus on all grown up uh, the whole series re review now let's see if I can get my notes out here up here I have what I rated like each season so there's five seasons uh, the worst was season one the best was season three, and season three, four, and five were all like the same. The average score is 8.5 out of 10. Now that's not that's not necessarily what I'm going to rate the entire series. However, that's just an average of all the seasons. Now the first thing I want to talk about is one of the things I think All Grown Up did the best, and really the reason why I keep coming back to the show is like the character, the characters themselves. And their interaction with each other that and this next thing is a comedy however like all grown up is a type of show where if you don't like the characters you will not like the show it's just that simple I mean there are other shows out there that you don't have to like the characters for say and you can still kind of like the show because you you think it's a very deep and developed show all grown up all grown up isn't like that it really hinges on your enjoyment really hinges, at least in my opinion, on uh, the characters itself. So anyway, um, I thought they did a pretty good job overall. I mean, when I got into my character discussions, you'll see like in more detail what I thought about in individual characters. However, like um, uh, Angelica and Chucky really like had a lot of character growth throughout the entire series. And I won't get into the details. Um, however, like those two characters were, in my opinion, the best developed and the best character growth. Another character who got more of episodic growth, and what I mean by that is that he grew in the episode, but it wasn't really reflected throughout the series. And that's Tommy. Now those are, those are like the three main main characters, and you can just tell by how many episodes they really starred in, how many episodes really focused on them, and how many other episodes where they had kind of had a minor role like um, a side plot if you will so uh, they did pretty good on those three characters for the most part and I'll get to some of the negatives in a little bit now the other characters Susie was in my opinion done the best out of the uh, I mean they're all major characters but except for the, like those three she had a, an important episode where she got character growth and her character got developed in every season Every season, they had one episode that really focused on her, and you know sometimes it is split between her and Angelica and stuff like that. However, like that's how I think they should have done like Phil, Lil, and especially like Kimmy's character in particular. They should have really had an episode in, in each season where that character got was was the focus point of that episode. They did it with Susie, but they didn't do it with any of the others. I mean. Jill's kind of an exception, and I'll explain why in a bit. Um, so that was kind of a downfall. Like, they didn't really focus on Kimmy, Phil, and Lil as well as they should have. And Dill, in general, like I said before in some of my other uh, reviews, is that I didn't really like a lot of his episodes that he, like, played an important role in. And they did a lot of, like, Tommy and Dill episodes early on that were really kind of very similar in like plot if you will and they were they kind of just not demonstrated the same point and it was just like this same thing and some episodes were a little worse than the others but like why would you do like I think they did like four in season one and then then like in the beginning of season two they did another one that was like really bad and then later on, I think it was like season four or something, they did a really well episode. Uh, I can't remember if it was called, called it was a circus episode though. And that was like, in my opinion, the best deal episode of the entire series. I really enjoyed that. And then they did, they, they did a couple in season five that were like, all right, but nothing. Well, I mean, um, the last episode, Golden Boy was pretty good, but um, 
but I still think that circus episode for Dills was was definitely the best. And if they had more like those type of episodes, not not the same plot, however, like the same quality and may and less like Tommy and Dill like centric episodes like together that it it would they would have done better with Dill's character. Dill wasn't really he was displayed in a lot of a lot of episodes as like a central point, but he wasn't done well. He was done pretty bad in those episodes because the episodes themselves were bad. So I think they should have improved Dill's episodes. Take take actually some of them out and added some like Phil, Lil, and Kimmy episodes in their place. Like, not to say those characters together, and they should have had, like, Phil and and Lil, like, split off and do other stuff. I think they only had one of each, and it was just, like, a side plot of both. One where Phil was cooking, and the other, um, and the other one was the science fair episode where, where Lil was, like, a science partner with some guy or something. Now, for the most part, as for characters playing like minor roles in episodes, I think they did an excellent job, and that's one of like the the, the really hooks for the thing, especially those episodes where it focused on the entire group, like RV having fun yet, dude where's my horse, um, uh, was that uh, um, the episode where they get stuck in the mall? Um, I can't remember what it's called. Well, that, uh, that episode was great as well. I think I actually have it in here. Rat Traps, yeah. Uh, uh, Rat Traps is just a great episode. It focused on Chucky, but it had like a little bit of all the other characters, and like uh, including Harold, by the way. So, it, like more of those episodes. I mean, they had a couple of them as well that didn't really display. They had one early on that did not display who those characters were. It was the um, career aptitude um, test episode. It was like episode name was something with aptitude, and really, it was just a comical way to show that none of their careers really matched up with their personalities or whatever. That would have been fine if we actually knew what who these characters were beforehand. I mean, we had an idea about Chucky and Tommy, which were the main focus of the of the episode. But the other characters, I mean, except for kind of Phil being a, a supermodel, that was just funny. But, like, Kimmy and Lil, like, you know, since we don't know their care and Dill as well, since we didn't at that point really understand or know their characters that well, we didn't really understand that the, um, the job or the career that the career aptitude test, like, put for them was actually wrong for them and that was supposed to be like a comical thing that that none of the career aptitudes the careers actually match with the person however you kind of need to do that later on in the series or like establish these characters first before you do that which they did for Chucky and Tommy which is the main focus like I would have really loved to see like that episode really ha I have these characters developed of who they actually wore line them up with a career that actually displayed who they were except for like Chucky and Tommy who were um, who we already knew it didn't didn't match up with the, the careers that was given to them so uh, I mean that being said that was just like one episode however I would have loved to see like earlier on like um, more group episodes or like I said, just more like uh, get more of these characters developed, and um, I mean, they, like I said, they did a really good job with like uh, Chucky and and Angelica. Pretty good job with uh, Tommy and Susie, but the rest of them were like okay. I mean, they definitely had their moments, and I really enjoy these characters. I just I enjoy them so much that I want to see them more and. I mean, we probably would have got that the series would have continued and only last five seasons, which is pretty good. Uh, however, like, I mean, I think we can all agree that anyone who likes this series wants to see more of it. So, um, I mean, aside, like, let's kind of move on to the comedy. The comedy was, I mean, it wasn't like amazing comedy, if you will. You don't watch All Grown Up to laugh. However, the comedy in the series, in like each episode, made like the good episodes better. 
and made the bad episodes bearable. The worst episodes in the series were the ones that were bad and didn't have good comedy in it. And I'll get, get into that later. And the best episodes were the ones that were great episodes that also were like had some good com some good comedic moments in there. Like I said in a lot of my like episode reviews when I was reviewing like a bad episode there were times I was like the only saving grace in this episode was Phil was funny I didn't say Dill was funny but D Dill's another character who's Phil and Dill were like side characters a lot and a lot of times they were funny it was just it, they added that humor to the series I mean there were other characters who added humor here and there too however they were definitely like the main ones and Phil was I think by far like the funniest character in the series for at least in my opinion I mean you could argue definitely Dill had his moments for sure however there was like there was like bad episodes where I'm just like oh the only saving grace in this was Phil was funny this and and when I like look back at like when I watch this series again like in a couple years or whatever there's gonna be episodes that I don't watch and there's gonna be episodes where I'm like should I watch it? You know what? I'll watch it because I know Phil was funny in this episode. Even though I know it's not a great episode, I'll still watch it. So I mean that, that uh, that's one of the things about the series. It was it was definitely funny and it was definitely like like Phil Phil and Dill definitely played their roles as like comical side characters in the episodes they didn't star in. And, um, and 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 even in even in some episodes where Phil starred in, he still played that role and I just thought it was uh great just as an example of a time that it was a good episode that Phil kind of improved it and that's a uh, curse of reptar there were moments in there where Phil was like generally funny and that is like renowned to be like one of the best episodes it was very nostalgic to the old robot uh, <laughs> the old rugrats I'm keeping it in there um, but it but Phil had his moments where it just made the episode even better and an example of where Phil like actually makes an episode kind of bearable is like the episode se separate but equal I thought that was a bad episode overall however like Phil comes in and he has his comical moments I might just watch the episode because I know Phil has those like comical moments in it that makes the episode at least bearable somewhat enjoyable you know now the animation um there was a switch in the animation after season one um I thought it was a good switch however like season one was very inconsistent with its animation now what I mean by that is that there were times where stuff was really animated really well and had a lot of detail just the animation was like on point and there were other times where it was just like really bad I mean th so there are times where people's faces were like in really weird um, shapes and stuff like that especially like Chucky um, so the animation like they switched it I don't really know much about animation but they switched it to some new animation style and it was definitely more consistent um, I mean there are definitely moments where I wish they would have done more with the animation and really like pumped it up um, a scene in RV having fun yet with the uh, kind of horse lady, I believe it was, that was like uh, that that was, that came out of the geyser. That was one of that 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 scene only lasted like a few seconds. And in my mind, I mean, it wasn't like a focal point of the episode, but in my mind, they should have made that animation sequence amazing as best they could, if you will. But in like seeing it, it just wasn't that good. And because you know, they kind of talked about it a little bit. And it was something that if it was animated properly, it would have been probably one of the best a animated spots in the, you know, in the entire series. But because it had that uniqueness to it of being like water, but I think water's like, getting water right is kind of really hard in animation. Like I said, I don't know much about animation, but uh, that's just one point where I think they should have improved it. But overall, I think the animation change was necessary to, you know, it definitely didn't have the low points of the season one animation so I thought it was good and I thought the change in the characters were um, were actually better I thought Lil looked better Kimmy looked better 
Chucky didn't have any deformed faces like he did in season one. So um, for for what uh, All Grown Up was, I thought the animation style was was good, and and it's really suited the show just fine. And I know animation's expensive, and probably it definitely wasn't like a high budget like show, if you will. So I mean the transitions, uh, you know, I talked about that earlier, way earlier in my like reviews. Um, I think the transitions are fine. Like later on, you can't notice them. In season one, they had this weird, like, trans box transition, if you will. I I'll put a picture on the screen so you know what I'm talking about. And I just thought that was kind of weird. Um, and they, and they got rid of that after season one. So I thought that was a really good move. Now, overall, I really enjoyed this show a lot. And I thought, like, the yep, the show definitely has some problems, of course. But I really enjoyed it, and I really enjoyed like rewatching and reviewing all the episodes. When I review the episodes, I think I review it two. I think I watched the episode two or three times before I review it, and I thought it was, I thought it was really good overall, and um, and it's something that I will definitely come back to as the years progress. And that's saying a lot. I generally don't come back to shows, if you will, like older shows, and watch them unless. Well, this kind of type I do, I mean, I watch a little bit of sitcom here and there and see the same episode like over and over again. <sighs> However, like this is definitely one of, uh, one of the shows that I will rewatch, you know, in a couple years, if you will, again. So I'm going to give it, I'm debating between like a 9 and a 9.5. I, th I think I'm going to give this show um, a 9 out of 10 overall. I really enjoyed it. There's, you know, I, I wish there was more of the characters, more of this, more of that, more episodes focused on certain characters. So, I mean, I thought it was a great show. And uh, let me just talk about kind of my favorite episode and my least favorite episode overall. So let's start, let's start talking about my favorite episode. Um, each season, as you see on the screen, there's season one, my favorite episode is River Rat, season two, The Fencer Who Stole Christmas, season three, The Big Score, season four, Rat Traps, and season five, Potention This. Now, out of these five episodes, my favorite is Potention This. And now, I'm not even sure how I would rank the other ones, because uh, River Rats would probably be last out of this particular list but the other three I'm really not sure probably rat probably potential this number one number two rat traps number three the fencer is still Christmas yeah I like Chucky's character obviously <laughs> um, season uh, and then um, number four would be the big score and last one would be rat traps but all these great episodes I would definitely watch all five of them again and a lot of the other episodes I'd watch again I really enjoyed Potential This though. Every time I watch it, like the first time I watched it, I did not enjoy it. But every time I watch it, I just like it better. And it's an episode that really ages on me. It really gets it, it's 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 a kind of a political episode that deals with kind of the mudslinging, if you will, the um, the really bad parts of politics. And it comes from both sides. They show how how it really does come from both sides. And if both side, if one side does not do it pretty much they're pretty much out of the race it, it that's what it seems like now into today's world so i really like that i really like how it has angelica and Susie's character competing and then they also develop kimmy and chucky's character and really show their um their bond they have as brother and sister so I, it's it's just my favorite episode I, I i really do enjoy it and the like i said the more time passes on it the more i enjoy it so that, that's definitely a great great episode so I'm gonna move on to my uh, least favorite episodes these are the worst these are like the worst of the worst so uh, as you can see from the screen uh, season one was tween age tycoon season two was Izzy or isn't he yeah season three um, was rat race that was a great season season four separate but equal season five bad blood now I look at all these episodes and the only one I could ever like see myself watching again is Bad Blood for like for like Phil's like and like he was just funny in the episode. 
I mean, except for Eco, which is funny, but I don't want to really want to watch that episode. Rat Race, rat, probably out of these episodes, my favorite one would be Rat Race. Um, it was it was a, a unexpected, pretty good episode. And that just leaves Izzy or isn't here tweeting twenty eight tycoons. Really don't like. I really will never watch either of these episodes again. But I have to go with Izzy or isn't he for the whole purpose that it takes Chucky, who's supposed to be this like very character you um you sympathize with and you kind of relate to. He's a character who has a lot of flaws, and he's but he's generally a good person. He's not like a like when I say flaws, I mean like. He's kind of dorky. He's he's scared. He's you know, he's he's got these like flaws, but he's generally a good person. I mean, he is a good person. He's a really good friend, and you relate with you relate to him. And they take him and kind of make him the antagonist of the episode. And it just I just didn't like this episode. Um, there was a show like uh, in a con cartoon network named Ed Ed and Eddie. And I don't remember what episode it was, but there was an episode was similar to this where Ed has like an imaginary friend that everyone enjoys and Eddie just kind of can't stand him. And that episode worked because Eddie is already an antagonist type of character. He's a main character, but he already has, has he's already like, he scams people and out of their money and stuff like that. He's already that antagonist type. And this episode would have worked more if, like, Angelica was in Chucky's position, if you will, because she's already, like, an antagonist type of character. And it just it just didn't work with Chucky. I just hated the episode so much. And it's definitely the episode I will never watch again. And it's my least favorite episode of the entire series. Anyway, so, um, overall, like, all grown up, got a 9 out of 10 great series. Definitely had some really highs and and definitely had a few lows as well but more highs and lows I thought for sure and um, anyway I, I, I hope you enjoyed the video I hope you enjoyed like all like like uh, me doing this in the future I'm gonna be doing um, other older cartoon series I'll, I'll actually get a video on that it's probably be my next video that I'll put up like what what show I'm gonna be doing next um, so I so I hope you enjoyed the video See you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.